everybody, George here with Killer Hearts in sunny Sweden. It's finally summer. I can barely look in your direction. It's really inspired me to want to get out and make some music, bring some samples into Faceplant, manipulate them and make a little uh, found sound symphony. So we'll do that. Before I do though, I was looking at our statistics and I noticed that about 84% of our watch time in the last month came from people who aren't subscribed to the channel. Unbelievable, look how sunny it is. You wanna be subscribed to this. It's gonna be so much fun over the next few months. So click the button and get on board. So yeah, we're gonna get out, record some stuff, make some cool music and uh, we'll start with a few chores around the garden, I think. Are you with me? Good, my little knekemaka. Come on then. So this summer we decided to invest in this little pool for the kids, you know, um, and the filter has these tubes that make all kinds of good noises. Um, so... <laughs> that could be fun. We've got this comedy tap that only turns on when it feels like it. All of a sudden. Sorry, microphone. <laughs> So here we are back in the office and I'm working on the track. Why don't we take a peek at some percussion first? Obviously I'm slicing up little bits of audio, but rather than just laying them out as audio on the different tracks in the DAW, I'm bringing them into the sampler in phase plant. So this means I can pitch them around and play them on demand, like this little scrape on the pool tubes. But it also means I can process the samples and modulate the effects I'm running them through over time. Let me show you what I mean with the hose on spray mode. It gave me basically a lovely white noise, which when modulated brings us not only a riser with an LFO raising the frequency shift and the gain, but also a pretty cool symbol with randomly wobbling filter notches and transient shaper and phaser and all that. And even the most 90s hi-hats I've ever heard with a simple square wave modulating the pitch and the decay time. But it's all from the same basic sample. I got a nice snare from snipping that tomato plant, just basically filtered and distorted, and the splashy tap gave me a surprisingly good topper which I've added increasing amounts of reverb to as the track progresses. But what about tune sounds, stuff that can carry a note? Well, I made this bass out of the tubes, found a nice loop point, added some unison and doubled the sample up an octave just for the attack. I've got a couple of key track peaking filters reinforcing the fundamentals. Bit of distortion, bit more filtering, some effects. I even have a snap heap here for later in the track doing that thing I described in a recent sound design snacks video about neuro bass with massive distortion and OTT multiband compression. Then I got kind of a fun lead out of this little wheezy noise the hose made. And another by heavily filtering and then quantized distorting the lawnmower. But none of these sounds are exactly what you'd call beautiful. And I definitely wanted something delicate and clean for the opening chorale of this piece of music. So have a little walk around the neighborhood. So I think it's time to knock on wood. Oh, that's a good one. Slug. Sticky. Cool. So how about some clicky clacky pebbles?
And there it is, the beginnings of a twinkly little piano sound. All I really needed to do was slow it down, clean it up, add a bit of reverb, and there's a new sound. It's pretty satisfying. So then I was working through various layers of simple ambience, wind in the trees, the pool water pretending to be a babbling brook, and I found another surprisingly versatile noise in this bird. I don't know if you've tried this yourself, but it's amazing what birds sound like when you slow them down. The first thing I thought was let's make an organ for some counter melodies, so just finding the perfect loop point, adding some optional octaves above and below. But then I listened again, particularly to this bit, and I thought there's a tom in there, and I love me a good tom, and it's right there. Just finding the perfect start point for the sample playback, nice tight envelope, then it's really just a case of some tidying up, filters, distortions, some pretty bold transient shaping, a little bit of 80s reverb, and we're in business. There's a bunch more sounds in here, I'm not going to go through everything in detail right now, but you can hear the full finished track at the link in the description or on your streaming platform of choice. 100% samples in phase plants, pretty cool, right? Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel. You can download this project file as well and a bunch of the presets I made for this project from the samples. There's another link in the description for that. And I'll be back soon with more. Don't forget to subscribe.